opinions about the war in Iraq. Well, dozens of Virginia veterans, activists, and community leaders held meetings throughout the state today, urging local leaders to take a stand on what they call the endless war in Iraq. Down on your side, military reporter Melanie Woodrow joins us now with more. Melanie? Nicole, the group Americans Against Escalation in Iraq is calling for a new redeployment strategy. One member, a former Navy corpsman, tells me that he believes the struggle in Iraq is not going to improve as long as we are there. But an Iraqi now living here in the United States says the Middle East and the United States are doomed if we pull out now. While President Bush acknowledged only limited progress has been made in Iraq, Charles Anderson, an Iraqi war veteran, delivered a letter to Congresswoman Thelma Drake urging her to take a stand on the war. To continue our presence there is simply not working, and it's time for, it's, high, it's well past time for a responsible redeployment strategy. Anderson was a Navy corpsman from 1996 to 2005. He served in Iraq in 03. My mission was to depose the government of Saddam Hussein, and yes, absolutely, 100%, we succeeded. But that's where the mission really stopped. Anderson says he's not surprised Iraq hasn't met certain benchmarks. Of 18 military, economic, and political benchmarks, President Bush determined eight were satisfactory, eight were unsatisfactory, and two were mixed. 